G, give it up for Steve G and the Cowboy Hat. <laughs> Carolyn Marco is here. <laughs> Steve, you just released an album called Bar and a Half. How does that feel to have it out to the world? It just came out like a couple of days ago. Yeah, pretty outstanding. Actually. <laughs> yeah, it's, That's got to feel cool. cool. Yeah, yeah. You, did you co-write any of the songs, or no. did you write them all? Completely all mine. All of them. Yeah. Wow. Um, how many songs did you have to choose from to narrow it down to like the ten? Sixty. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, do you have a favorite song? This is, I know this is a tough question, a favorite song you've written to date? Uh, For whatever reason, it's really special. Yeah, I do. I'm not going to sing it tonight. Okay. But it's on the album. Uh, it's called um, uh, A Better Place, and it's uh, in honor of my grandmother. So if you have uh, uh, anything on streaming service, Steve G's the artist, Bar and a Half, uh, you can listen to the song. Listen to Better Place, great. Yeah. I love those kind of songs because they're meaningful, right? Yeah, absolutely. You've written it from a, a place that you have to experience to write, absolutely. which is great. All right, Steve G, everybody. Can't wait to hear his song tonight. <laughs> Kayla DeMarco is here, and both of them were here last time. Great to have you back, Kayla. Last time you were with your keyboard. Tonight you're with your guitar. Yeah, I'm mixing it up. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, we'll I, see how it goes. I can't wait to hear what you... Uh, got in store for us. What have you learned about songwriting over the last few years? Is there anything that stands out that you know, now that you know it, you can write better songs? Just be honest, you know, no matter how weird it sounds, just gotta right. go with your heart and just say how you feel. Just yeah, yeah. try to dance around it, you know? Amen. Yeah. So just put it out there as raw and honest as it is. Mm -hmm. And I know that kind of what ties into that, when you're writing, you don't want to censor yourself for the other person and say, or, or feel self-conscious about what you're going to throw out there because it could be great. You can't kind of censor it up here yeah. first. Um, do you have a favorite songwriter that you look up to? Oh, Taylor Swift. Somebody already said that. <laughs> That's usually yeah, the yeah, answer typical, at the moonshine. Yeah. Well, around the world, I guess. <laughs> probably. It's yeah. always Taylor, and I guess yeah. it was Shania before, and it probably still is. Yeah, but I like her too. Yeah. Taylor is kind of the one. Well, what what is it about Taylor Swift songs? That she's just not afraid to say what she wants to say. So right. she say. puts it out there. Yeah, she puts it all out there. Yeah. <laughs> she's do. selling a billion yeah, copies. Yeah. Oh, she's doing pretty good, yeah. Yeah, she's, yeah it works for her. If it works for her, it's going to work. It should work for you, I would think. All right, let's uh, start things off with Kayla DeMarco, everybody. All right, hello, hello. My name is Kayla DeMarco. And um, the song that I'm going to be singing today kind of started off with um, a producer named Kevin Ocean from Italy. Uh, he reached out to me and gave me a B, and he was like, write whatever you want. And I was like, sounds good, I'll do that. And so I got in the studio with Ashton Price. I don't know if anyone knows who that is, but he's a Hamilton producer, and I worked with him last time in my last song, so it was kind of a no-brainer for me to work with him again. And uh, yeah, it's more of like a dancey song, so I'm just gonna like strip it back and play an acoustic version for you guys. But it's basically a song about a relationship ending and you thinking to yourself, you know what? Like I'm good by myself. Like I I don't need to be in this relationship. I'll be just fine. So um, it's called You Ought to Know. And it goes like this. No one to say this, cause I thought it was a real thing. But you played me like a puppet on the street. Oh, I believed you when you said you wanted me. It was too gazy. You're so feel gazy. You had me, baby. Now I gotta let you go.
So, well, you can tell that Kayla is definitely a country art uh, writer because we were talking out back and I told her I was going to play off whatever she was doing. I was going to do the opposite. She told me she's going to do a happy song. So yes. that was a country happy song. For her, so. <laughs> it only goes downhill from here. <laughs> Um, the funny thing about this song is that I was in a rush, I was trying to get 10 songs into the studio and uh, it was like three days before I was leaving uh, for Calgary and I had to pick a 10th one ahead night and I'm like, oh crap, I only got nine out there and I, I was doing, you know, sitting around my house doing the demo so I could fire it out to the producer so he could start setting things up and I really just, this, I treated this as a throwaway song uh, because I needed to get 10 out to him. Uh, and it turned out to be one of the favorite ones off the bit, and I really don't do it justice. Uh, so if you even like it an inkling, please go check it out online with the piano work. I was talking with the, uh, Caleb about the piano on it. Uh, yeah. But here we go. She said we have to part for now. I'm so sorry Chase the three. 